Human values are virtues that guide us to take into account the human element when we interact with other human beings. Human values such as respect, acceptance, empathy, and love towards other human beings. When we talk about Indian values, we expect that it comprises the basic human values, but yet unique. It bears the essence of our country that we come from, India, and is exhibited through its culture, heritage, and sociopolitical behavior of its people who embraced the USA as their beloved adopted country, the country we call home. India is a vast country with diverse cultures, history, and landscapes, religion, and cuisines. There are 121 languages spoken broadly with 19,500 dialects in India. So Indianness is very hard to define and difficult to express to outsiders. Therefore, I think to stay true to our Indian values, we must have an open mind to give and take, mingle and mingled in with the larger mainstream society we are living it at the current time. While we should be rooted to our culture of diverse religions, regions, with oneness in mind, we should embrace our surrounding cultures here as well. When we talk about staying true to our Indian values in the U.S., we must remember to define those values. The whole world has come closer in modern days with advancement of technology in the 20th and the 21st century. Let our Indian values, culture, and heritage be enriched by giving and taking, mingling and being mingled in with the society at large. The motto of Indian culture is one nation, unity in diversity. We can open our hearts to positive energy that will strengthen our cultural identity nobody can shake us from. Come, let us raise our vibe by owning our roots and embracing our leaves and the stem. Welcome to today's event, everybody, especially Mayor Ballantyne, where we honor the flag of our adopted home and the flag of our native country. Mayor Ballantyne is now serving her first term as the mayor of Somerville. She backs up her deep commitment to progress for all with 30 years of leadership experience in government, nonprofits, startups, and international business. Having previously served for eight years on the city council and two terms as council president, Mayor Ballantyne's tri sector experience in government, business, and nonprofits qualify her uniquely to understand and align the incentives and strengths of all stakeholders to solve complex problems. Her leadership and life experience as an immigrant, an engaged parent, and decade-long community advocacy have taught her to value inclusive leadership. Her leadership and life experience as an immigrant and a community advocate have taught us to value inclusive leadership. Quite an interesting fact is that Mayor Ballantyne walks the carbon neutral talk. Her family of four has been car free for 14 years, choosing to walk, take public transit or bicycle. It's not unusual to see her chatting with her constituents on the bus. It is so heartwarming to be introducing a leader of substance, Mayor Ballantyne. It's my pleasure, Mayor. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you all for being here as we come together to recognize India's Independence Day. This year is a little extra special because we celebrate a milestone, 75 years of Indian independence. As we commemorate this occasion, 
It's important to remember the ideals of democracy India was founded on. We celebrate a country and its people who fought for liberation and who continue to uphold those democratic values today. I also want to thank you for engaging in our government to make sure that the voices of Indian immigrants and Indian Americans are heard. It's so critical. My family is a family of immigrants. I was born and orphaned in Greece and adopted by my Scottish father and Czech German mother who migrated to Greece after World War II. We immigrated to the United States when I was four. I learned then that sometimes people are afraid of differences, so I've learned to value differences. I know how it can be meaningful and how special it is and how challenging it can be to get involved in your government. In Somerville, we are committed to making our city welcoming and supportive and to cultivate a culture of deep appreciation for our city's growing diversity. Thank you for taking steps to further that shared partnership between government and its citizens. I know the Indian Association of Greater Boston is doing that here and across the Commonwealth. Today's ceremony is a reminder of the many ways Indian immigrants and people of Indian heritage enrich our local community. Somerville is a better place to live in thanks to our Indian and Indian American residents and neighbors who are integral in our social, economic, and cultural fabric of our city. So today, along with celebrating 75 years of Indian independence, we also celebrate the people who bring so much to Somerville's four square miles. A special thanks to the Indian Association of Greater Boston and to the staff of the Office of uh, Summer Viva, the Office of Immigrant Affairs for their efforts here today. Thank you again and happy Independence Day. What a powerful message, Mayor Ballantyne. Yes, celebrating differences is what we are all about and what makes this wonderful nation a melting pot. My next guest that I want to call upon to say a few words is a very dear friend, a wonderful person, a great human being, and someone who originates from a country that is call, often called the land of Buddha, of the great Gautam Buddha, our friend country, Nepal. It's my pleasure to call upon Parashu Foyal, Nepali Services Coordinator in the city of Somerville. Namaste, good afternoon, uh, uh, Honorable Mayor, Katiana Ballantyne, uh, Direct Summer Viva Director Maria Teresa, Courtney, and Indian community leaders, and all participants. I feel proud I'm here to celebrate our big neighbor, uh, 75th Independence Day. We are good neighbor. Nepal is a small country, but uh, India is covered by three sides of Nepal. Uh, we have a lot of similarities. We share same culture, religion, and our alphabet also are same. So I'm happy here to celebrate flag raising ceremony and in, on the occasion of Indian uh, Independence Day. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Parashu. Always a pleasure to have you. I would now like to call upon multilingual public information coordinator, Courtney Henderson, who has been instrumental in helping me plan and execute this event. Courtney, over to you. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Good evening. My name is Courtney Henderson. I am the Multilingual Public Information Coordinator with the Somerville Office of Immigrant Affairs. It is such an honor to be invited to give a few remarks um, as we celebrate India's 75th anniversary. I believe that the United States is progressing and making this country a true home to our immigrant fam families and friends, especially the city of Somerville. As we celebrate India's independence, we celebrate those who have contributed to making our community diverse and a wonderful place to call home. I wish you a happy 75th anniversary and many more years to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Pleasure having you here. Very excited to meet you in person. That brings me to the next guest that I would like to call upon. Another wonderful person that I have communicated and interacted with and planned this, uh, this event together. What a delight to call upon the director of Somerville's Office of Immigrant Affairs, Maria, Maria Teresa Nagel. Did I say it right? Thank you so much, Tanu, and thank you to everyone who's joining us today. It, it brings me great pleasure to participate in this event as we celebrate the diversity and the richness that makes Somerville uh, just a wonderful place to be and to call home. Um, I, I truly love, one of the greatest things that I love about what our office does is, is this. This is the fun part, being able to celebrate culture, being able to celebrate just the, the beauty of every single thing that immigrants bring to our communities to strengthen them, to make them richer, and make them stronger. So uh, in celebration of the 75 years of independence of India, I am honored to be joining you today and in raising that flag and in reminding all of us of the importance of that unity in that diversity um, and to just keep, keep fighting so that immigrants throughout not just Somerville but throughout our nation feel welcome and are acknowledged for the incredible contributions they make to our country. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maria, and so well said. We are honored and excited to be part of Somerville's mission and the mission of the country, hopefully. I would now like to call upon my colleague, my partner in crime, for this Somerville event, my wonderful co-executive director of IAGB, Deepak Garg. Deepak, over to you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm honored to be here. And, uh, and I raised my vibe by owning the roots and embarrassing your lesion stems. So I'm going to call mayor to call for the anthem of the United States and uh, honor the flag. Thanks. It's my honor to call for national anthem for my native country, India. Our, as we see the flag being raised high, let's stand tall facing the flag and stand in attention position with your hands placed on the sides while singing the national anthem. Thank you. 
जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे Jaya, 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 I would like all of you to come in front so we can do a beautiful trivia. It is a special segment that is mentioned as India Proud. There are people in the society for whom circumstances, lack of resources and setbacks are no hurdles. These individuals are people of strong will and dedication. Despite all odds, these champions polish their lives so much in their field of interest that they stand apart in society. This year, IAGB takes great delight in introducing a special segment in our flag raising events, hashtag India Proud, a segment where we will do a special mention of champions of Indian origin who made India proud on the global stage. Of course, there are many such champions in hundreds of thousands to talk about, but respecting the length of time in our flag raising events, we will stick to hashtag India proud segment with five champions every year. Now all years and try to guess. First one. She made us proud for the first time in year 2000 when she won the renowned title of Miss World. Moreover, she made her Hollywood breakthrough with the album In My City. She collaborated on an album with American rapper Pitbull and starred in Baywatch alongside The Rock Dwayne Johnson. Her TV series Quantico award her the People's <laughs> Choice Award and she was also invited to the Oscars twice, where she had the honor of presenting awards. Do you know who she is? <laughs> awesome! Uh, there you go! <laughs> yes! Wow! Mir Valentine! Wow! Yes, she is Bollywood turned Hollywood star Priyanka Chopra Jonas. And of course, as Dad said, no points for guessing, because I wrote it and you saw it. <laughs> Married to Nick Jonas of the Jonas Brothers. Now next one. With the YouTube's username, The Superwoman, she's an ace YouTuber, actor, comedian, and talk show host. She's the first person of Indian descent to host an American major broadcast network late night talk show and is included in Forbes' list of world's highest paid YouTubers ranking third. Forbes named her one of the 40 most powerful people in comedy in 2019. Winner of MTV Fandom Award, four Streamy Awards, two Teen Choice Awards, and a People's Choice Award are the awards that she received. Guess who that is? I know who she is, but I can't remember her name right now. <laughs> She's a comedian, late night talk show host, and an ace YouTuber. Mindy, yes, Mindy Kelling is very proud of her as well. This one is a Canadian Indian top YouTuber, Lily Singh. She went by Superwoman for the longest time until the movie Superwoman released and she had to change her hashtag. All right, Deepak, over to you for the next two. <laughs> Here you go. No. She brought India Olympic honor during the 2012 Olympics, but her determination had already made her a subject of pride 
for Indians long before them. A five-time world armature boxing champion, she's the only female to have bagged a medal in each of the world's six major boxing championships. Family, politics, passion. She could teach us a thing or two about balancing life. Do you know who she is? Is Nope. Nope. Mary Comb. Mary Comb. <laughs> she Come is. On, you are cheating. You know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're <laughs> <know> over there. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. Yes. She's enduring, yes. magnificent yes. Mary, yes. boxing yes. champion Mary Com. Uh, yes, Mary she's magnificent Mary, yes. as they call her. Uh. Yes. She co-authored the pandemic paper on how to end COVID-19 pandemic, which in turn set globally and rose targets for vaccinating the world and led cre creation of multi multilateral task force to identify trade barriers, supply bottleneck and accelerate delivery of vaccine to low and middle income countries. She was also John Zwastern's professor of international studies and economics at Harvard University economics department. Currently she serves as a first deputy managing director of International Monetary Fund, IMF. Do you know who she is? That one is a tough one, yes. That is a tough one. But she has done uh, some groundbreaking yeah. work. She is. Uh, she is an Indian American economist, Geeta Gopinath. Geeta Gopinath. Now so. hand back to Tanu <laughs> for the for the main last one. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you do this one, Deepak. Oh Go ahead. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He lives in Palo Alto, California with his wife and two sons. He is an ace Indian American business executive. He is chairman and chief executive officer of Adobe, one of the largest and most diversified software companies in the world. As the CEO, he has transformed the company into an industry innovator by pioneering a cloud-based subscription model for its creative suit uh, establishing the global standard for digital documents and creating and leading the explosive digital experience category. Do you know who he is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the answer. Go for it, Deepak. Entrepreneurs who want to excel and make it big look up chairman and CEO of Adobe, Shantanu Narayanan. Yes, yeah. yes, we have multiple ones. Yeah. You knew that. <laughs> now this one, I'm, see I'm making it easier as we go. Software giant Microsoft appointed this India born as its CEO. A 22 year Microsoft veteran. He was born in Hyderabad, India and went to study electronics and communication engineering in Malimpal University graduated in 1988 and moved to the U.S. to pursue his master's degree in computer science from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. He also holds an MBA from the University of Chicago Booth School of Business. Do you know who this is? Microsoft CEO. He is none other than Satya Nadella, Microsoft CEO. The last one, he's an Indian American business executive, having begun his career as a materials engineer. He's now the CEO of Alphabet Inc. and its subsidiary Google. He was included in Time's annual list of the 100 most influential people in 2016 and 2020. Born in Madurai, India, he earned his degree from IIT Karakpur in Metallurgical Engineering. He is the Google CEO. We, we can Google him. <laughs> Google CEO. We can Google him. <laughs> that, that, you are right. You are right. He is, he's lanky. He's tall. He wears glasses. He is, yes, he is Pichai Sundarajan, better known as 
the shorter form, like we all do, Sundar of our Pichai. names, Sundar Pichai. Sundar means beautiful. Yeah. Yes, I was going to say that. Sundar means beautiful. <laughs> exactly. All right, you want to do the closing remarks? Sometimes they forget the name. Oh, really? Oh, oh nice. <laughs> I know. I should. Yeah, nice try, Farashu. I'll give you the answers. <laughs> Read. <laughs> right? Yes. Well, the motto of Indian culture is one nation, unity, and diversity. When we talk about staying true to our Indian values, uh, Tagore's poem, Bharat Tirtha, describes it the best. Tagore, by the way, is the first Indian Nobel laureate for literature, and he's the only Nobel laureate author who has three countries, who has composed the national anthem of three countries, India, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka. I did not know that. I recently found that out from my dad, who's also a published author. All shall give and take, mingle and mingled in. None shall depart dejected from the shores of the sea of Bharat's great humanity. Practicing traditions and celebrating differences are the true ways to exhibit Indian values. We have planned a multi-week celebration through the month of August starting that started on August 6th with our historical trend-setting flag-raising events across 12 anchor towns, including the city of Somerville, across Massachusetts and New Hampshire in Man Manchester and Nashua, followed by our grand Indian Day, India Day cultural event tomorrow at the prestigious Hatchell in Boston by the River Charles, and finally, a grand finale concert, Nazrana, on August 20th at the Hanover Theater in Worcester. And all proceeds, talking about giving back to the community, all proceeds of this fundraising will go back to India to support a nonprofit called Samartanam that provides well being of differently abled children. So see you tomorrow, hopefully, at the Hat Shell, at the grand event, and at our concert at Hanover Theater in Worcester. Tomorrow, August 13th, and the weekend after, August 20th. Thank you so much for enabling us to come to your city to do this. Thank you, Mayor Ballantyne, Maria, Parashu, and Courtney. And my two loyal audiences, thank you so much. And on behalf of Deepak, my colleague and myself, thank you so much. You. There's a very important aspect of our ceremony that we missed out, and that is the proclamation. I would request Mayor ba Val Valentine to read the proclamation and present it to us. Thank you. This is the proclamation, and I will read India is the largest free democratic country in the world, sustaining 17.7% of the world's population in a land and nation home to exceptional beauty and rich cultural heritage. And whereas the Indian independence movement was led by patriots who championed change through nonviolent protest and who created the model for civil rights movements around the world, including the movement led by Martin Luther King Jr. in the United States. And on August 15, 1947, India regained independence after 200 years of repressive British occupation and its successful independence movement centered on civil disobedience and nonviolent protest, thus became an inspiration and powerful new tool to fight against inequality and injustice in the world. And whereas the Constituent Assembly of India created one of the most democratic constitutions, including inspiration 
from the American Constitution. And whereas India is a composite civilization, an ancient nation with a unique cultural mosaic of people embracing a prodigious diversity of ethnic groups, religions, languages, customs, traditions, closely, gastronomy, climatic conditions, and natural resources, and yet presenting an underlying unity. And whereas more than four and a half million Americans have ancestry from India, accounting for 1.4% of the U.S. population and forming the largest group of South Asian Americans, and this includes more than 100,000 Indian Americans or Indo -Amer Indo-Americans residing in Massachusetts, including in Somerville, who contribute greatly to the social, economic, and civic health of our nation and our community. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Mayor Ballantyne, hereby proclaim August 15th, 2022 to be India Day. We encourage all residents to join the Indian community to commemorate and celebrate 75 years of Indian independence. Beautiful. Thank you. I'll be good. Yep. Awesome.